in this video we are going to learn how to tally edit features okay let's see tally audit features can be work out here let's see for example international private company okay tally audit feature is used for the purpose of changes made means if anybody made the changes we can come out and we can see what are the changes can be happen and what it app it has already made for example this is international private limited okay its address everything is given here for that purpose to enable tally edit features okay to enable tally edit features you have to make enable first enable security control yes okay pass okay name admin admin password admin okay forgetting your password okay one of the message is displaying here forgetting your password will render your data inaccessible if you forget your if you forget your password you cannot be able to access the data this one okay if you forget the password so password should be take care of password now accept this okay now go to tally edit please make it yes yes okay accept the screen okay now to effect the changes shut the company and open it again to view the tally edit list first shut the company okay here shut the company which one international private limited this we have shut so now we cannot able to see company here where here let's see only manufacturer international private limited is here not international private limited okay so international private limited is a shut down the current company is manufacturer limited now re open this in, uh, in international private limit which we have shut it okay so go to gateway of tally let's open it again here we are opening again international private limited shut okay now it's giving admin admin password admin open it so now the international private limited company is open you can see here we have two companies in our direct tally directory software but present we are using international private limited company okay for to know to see the changes of tally edit we have to go to select display from gateway tally okay we got the option here statement of statement statement of accounts so statement of accounts now we can find the future tally audit okay tax audit info compliance info and tally tally audit info okay so press okay then go to the menu voucher press enter on voucher to view the voucher audit list here the okay let's see tally auditing list this is here mentioned tally auditing 
auditing list is dead mention list of new and modified vouchers are given here from 1st april to 31st march okay list of new and modified vouchers are given okay from like june modify pacific merchant has been modified java trading modified abc company bank this voucher has been modified modified vouchers pacific we have modified specific two time java trading two time data service java trading java trading this feature okay these are modified one modified means you have made some changes a new one okay change the period of the day 1st october 2006 to 31st march alt f2 First October. Thirty first March. Let's see. It's giving June. Alter this one. First October two thousand eight. To thirty first March. Okay. So list of voucher from. It's given first to all. It's given or it's taking all. Okay, all the voucher is taking new and modified. It's not taking separate one. So, if it is not taking, let's change something. Click F twelve configure set show and altered vouchers F twelve. Here show entered or else altered by yes. here show enter and altered by make it yes name only default select okay here enter and altered how uh, means what we have changed specific entered by unknown entered by unknown who made these changes we can C means if it is changes by bookkeeper, if it is changes by owner, if it is changes by auditor, if it is changes by accountant, we can see. Entered by who entered this voucher? Unknown. Who entered? Unknown. Entered unknown. Entered unknown. 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 These are unknown. Entered by all unknown because we didn't uh, provide any option and detail to anyone presently here. We are not uh, made separate user for this. Okay, so we can find here this one. Okay, like this also we can find who can enter. We can easily see who entered these vouchers. Okay, only a part of actual uh, report display. Only a part of actual report display for your reference. As the password feature was not activated when these entries were made, entered by display as unknown. So at the time. when the password feature was not active so that's why entered by unknown if we have given password to other then it will show their names okay placing the cursor on the relevant voucher click f7 accept one if you for example and okay this one i am clicking this accept one okay we can accept this yeah it is okay then we can accept accept it will remove accept it will remove okay for f7 if we want to accept all f7 accept all all are accepted okay so ta tally audit feature always enable yes when you creation when you creating any company okay at the time of creation you have to accept this if you want to see ledger audit you can see here ledger audit profit and loss ledger list of new and modified ledger profit and loss many of the ledger has been modified if you want to accept you can accept all the ledgers
okay if you make the changes to any two ledgers for example if you change any ledger okay if you make changes to any ledger it will show for example let's create some payable entries okay let's create some payable entries how we can create for example provision entries let's create the provision entries provision vouchers okay yes tax salary salary advance salary expenses salary okay let's change okay take the preliminary expenses is there any preliminary expenses no we don't have any preliminary expenses okay okay this is the how we can change for example if you say for example salary expenses take 5000 we we paid salary bank payment through accept the salary 5000 by abc bank okay and advance advertisement expenses we have paid 500 by abc bank let's check it out display statutory statement of accounts tally audit ledgers here salary expenses 1 to 1295 this is the serial voice this is a serial voice numbers for every okay all the ledgers here in vouchers now you can see two vouchers has been updated salary expenses and administrative advertisement expenses has been updated okay updated by admin now it's showing admin here so just now i created two vouchers so you can see the two vouchers have been created by admin okay accept accept all this is how you can see the features of tally audit portal audit uh, option in tally erp 9